This training video is brought to you by K Alliance. K Alliance provides high quality instructor led training videos for desktop, IT, and soft skills. Visit us online at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free seven day trial. Be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching, and we hope you learned something new. Real videos, real learning, real success. In this lesson, we're going to talk about getting started and customizing the icon bar. I'm going to talk to you about the home page and the different areas of it, the menu bar up on the top, and the icon bar. And we'll talk about how there's a left icon bar if you'd like to use that, or how to use the top icon bar if you prefer that. I'm also going to show you how you can customize the icon bar to put the shortcuts for the things that you use most frequently on that icon bar. So let's get started. There's several different ways to get around in QuickBooks. A lot of people use the home page. That's this big white area in the middle you see. And you have different sections on your home page. You have a section for activities dealing with your vendors, the customers, for employees. Over on the right here, you have the banking area, as well as the overall company area. Your home page provides you with a flowchart of icons that help you to see what order you should enter things. For example, in the customers area, we might create an invoice then receive payments, and then record deposits. So the home page is great by giving you a flow chart to help you to see what comes next. Your home page might look different depending on the preferences that you've turned on or off. So you may see different icons or you may have um, some different uh, screens that you're seeing here. Now, when you're also moving around in QuickBooks, you have the menu bar up on the top here with the file and edit, view, all the way over to help. Your menu bar doesn't really change that much from one version of QuickBooks to another. You also have the icon bar. For example, over here on the left, we have a new left icon bar now. And you can use this left icon bar and have it out, out full screen like it is here, or you can minimize that icon bar so you can see more of your home page or whatever you're working on. You can see when this is minimized, I still can access different things on it, or I can make it out wide again as it is here. On your icon bar, you can have an area for your shortcuts. Your shortcuts, this is the icon bar that you would have on the top icon bar. We're going to talk about the top icon bar in just a second, but the shortcuts here are the same as what you would have on your top icon bar. You also can make this bigger if you'd like to see more of that. Notice how the icons become smaller down here as I make this bigger. It, it will move them or add them to the bottom depending on how big you make this screen here. You can scroll through this to see different things and customize your shortcuts by adding and removing the features that you want in here. So I'm going to go ahead and make this back full again so we can talk about some of the other things that are here. You can have your todays, your do today, your reminders of things that you need to do. You can add new to-dos as you need to as well. You can view account balances and see some key account balances that will help you to keep track of what's going on with your business. Primarily account balances for perhaps your banking or accounts payable and receiving, checking account, your credit card. So you can put your balances in here that you want to keep track of. You can run favorite reports. So reports that you run frequently, you can make as a favorite. So you can customize reports to put some of your favorite reports in here. It makes them easy to access. Also then, the open windows list. This allows you to see different windows that are open within QuickBooks. You can just come and click up here to move between those. Now, some people don't like the left icon bar. They want to go back to the top icon bar that they've used for many years. You can do this by clicking on view, top icon bar, and that will bring the top icon bar back for you. You'll notice my icon bar is grayscale. When you first install QuickBooks, if you don't have the update that's R4 or newer, you will have a grayscale icon bar here and you can't change that. Once you've installed the R4 update or newer, you can change that by going to Edit, Preferences, Desktop View, and then you can check this box, Switch to a Colored Icon Bar. This allows you to see the icons in color versus the grayscale. So you can go ahead and bring up that colored icon bar. That's the one that I prefer to use. I also like my open windows list over here on the left. So I can click and do a view, open window list, and that will allow me to see if I've got multiple windows open, 
I can see those over here and it allows me to click back and forth between my open windows. You also can customize that icon bar by right clicking anywhere and select customize icon bar. This allows you to delete, for example, if I want to delete these two icons, I can delete the calculator and the backup and I can add to put icons art on there that I want to use most frequently. So I could scroll down and perhaps I want to see the chart of accounts up there on my icon bar and you can see I can add and they add them as I click on one to select it. Maybe I want to see the inner bills icon up there and now you'll see the bill icon. So you can customize that icon bar for just the features that you use most frequently that makes it quick and easy for them for you to get to them. Now it's time for a pop quiz. How would you customize the icon bar? A, edit, preferences, icon bar, my preferences, B, file, customize icon bar, C, right click on the icon bar, customize, or D, you cannot customize the icon bar. The answer is C. You right click to, on the icon bar and select customize. This allows you to add the icons and the features that you use the most up on the icon bar so you've got a convenient shortcut for those items. In this lesson we were talking about getting around in QuickBooks and using the home page or the menu bar or the icon bar and I also showed you how you can customize the icon bar so it meets your needs with the shortcuts you use most. We hope you enjoyed this preview video. Please click on the like button below if you did and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Be sure to visit us at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free seven day trial today. You could learn a lot in a week.